Good morning students. So I am here with yet another story from your book that is Footprints Without Feet. So children as you know that the title of the supplementary English reader book of your class is also Footprints Without Feet. So is the name of the chapter. So students as I told you earlier as well you know the most important story or the most important chapter of the book is taken and its title is made the title of the book so same must be the case in this story as well so since this must be the most famous of all the stories included in your book so title of the book is footprints without feet and title of the story is also footprints without feet so children this story is written by h g wells in fact uh, you know opening the truth is that the story footprints without feet was never written by h g wells h g wells wrote a novel actually right he wrote a novel the title of the novel was the invisible man the invisible man right the invisible man novel born an episode which was entitled footprints without feet by the editor of this book and included in your syllabus in the form of a story right so so remember the fact that h g wells never wrote a story by the title footprints without feet in fact he wrote a novel by the title the invisible man right so from here comes an episode which i am going to read and explain to you right reading the text the two boys startled in surprise at the fresh muddy muddy imprints of a pair of bare feet what was a barefooted man doing on the steps of a house in the middle of london and where was the man as they gazed a remarkable sight met their eyes a fresh footmark appeared from nowhere you know the story started when the two boys noticed startled in surprise they stopped at the place they were surprised to look at fresh muddy imprints of a pair of bare feet it means somebody must have walked bare feet from uh, oh sorry on that muddy area on that muddy land right so a barefooted man that was a surprise for the two boys that uh, what was a barefooted man doing on the steps of a house in the middle of london that why should a man be walking barefooted and next moment their eyes met a remarkable sight a different sight that was a fresh footmark appeared on the sand a fresh footmark appeared but the man was not there you know if somebody's footprint is fresh then that person must have passed from that place just a few moments ago so they saw a footprint that was very much fresh imprinted in that mud but there was no man so they were startled they were amazed surprised right in fact you may use the word shocked they were shocked to see that how is this possible that a man whose footprints are there but the man himself is not there right so they were surprised next paragraph see how this all happened further footprints followed it means further they noticed more footprints one after another descending the steps and progressing down the street it means they noticed that footprints were imprinting very freshly one after the other and those steps were progressing down the street of the london right the boys followed fascinated right they were attracted they followed those footprints and they were feeling attracted until the muddy impressions became fainter and fainter and at last disappeared altogether it means the boys followed those footprints and those footprints were becoming fainter lighter and lighter you know when a person walks further and further 
the footprints containing the mud the mud would decrease and the footprints would become lighter right so the footprints disappeared all together so the man was already not visible so the two boys were left amazed after seeing this scene right so next paragraph the explanation of the mystery was really simple enough it means the above told episode in three short paragraphs is of course a mystery that how can footprints appear without a man right so that was a mystery the explanation of this mystery was very simple what is it see the bewildered boys bewildered means confused the bewildered boys had been following a scientist who had just discovered how to make the human body transparent it means the boys the boys who got confused on seeing the footprints only without a man so they had been following a scientist a scientist whose name was griffin right so that scientist had just discovered that how to make human body transparent it means he would be invisible he would be present on the place but he would not be you know nobody would be able to look uh, look at him nobody would be able to see him right so he uh, that scientist he discovered such a drug such a potion so see what happens next griffin the scientist had carried out experiment after experiment to prove that human body could become invisible finally he swallowed certain rare drugs and his body became as transparent as a sheet of glass though it also remained solid as solid as glass you know griffin the scientist worked very hard in order to discover that drug right he did a lot of experiments he wanted to prove that human body can become invisible so finally means at the end of the day he ate certain rare drugs the drugs which are rarely found and his body became transparent he disappeared he was there on the place but nobody was able to see him right but his body also remained as solid as ever right so see what happened next brilliant scientist though he was griffin was rather a lawless person children this would be an important question for your examination as well so griffin was a brilliant scientist right he was a bright scientist an excellent or you may say intelligent fellow but he was a rather lawless person it means he must have violated the rules he must have violated the laws right what happened his landlord disliked him and tried to eject him in revenge griffin set fire to the house you know griffin's landlord landlord must have disliked him and he wanted to expel him from his portion of house griffin of course wanted to take revenge for this act of the landlord and he set that house on fire right next line to get away without being seen he had to remove his clothes thus it was that he became a homeless wanderer without clothes without money and quite invisible until he happened to step in some mud and left footprints as he walked you know in such a manner children griffin became invisible he misused that drug he set the house of his landlord on fire when the later tried to eject him right secondly he consumed that drug because uh, his body would be invisible only but his clothes would remain visible right so that's why he removed all of his clothes he uh, you know shun all the money he had and became quite invisible right so what uh, what happened that people noticed him only his footprints were left you know footprints would obviously there if uh, mud is there if watery mud is there and a person happen to walk over that mud obviously the footprints would be imprinted in the mud and people were able to those two boys exactly the one who were mentioned in the beginning those two boys were able to see griffin see what happens here he escaped easily enough from the boys who followed his footprints in london it means he escaped very easily see the two boys 
but see the scene but his adventures were by no means over it means he had to fight further he had chosen a bad time of the year to wander about london without clothes you know it was mid winter the air was bitterly cold and he could do nothing without clothes instead of walking about the streets he decided to slip into a big london store for warmth you know he removed his clothes but it was not easy to survive without clothes at that time especially in london you know it was mid winter right it was mid winter season and it was bitterly cold bitterly cold very harsh cold season was there and it was almost impossible for a person to survive in such a cold weather without clothes but he was roaming without clothes because he didn't want to get uh, in the notice of uh, that uh, particular uh, uh, the which uh, landlord right so what he did he removed his clothes left away uh, from that place right instead after roaming about in the streets of london what he thought he thought of an idea to enter a big london store in order to get some warmth it means he tried to hide himself in the london store a big london store was there so see read in the next paragraph what facilities did he receive there closing time arrived it means it was the closing time of the store it was evening and as soon as the doors were shut griffin was able to give himself the pleasure of clothing and feeding himself without regard to expense so that was feasting time for griffin you know when he arrived it was the closing time the servants were shutting the doors of the store and you know griffin he was able to give himself pleasure it means coat pants were there shoes were there hat was there everything was available in the store like besides these things coffee milk several eatables were there in the store so without paying any expenses without paying even a single penny griffin was able to enjoy the pleasures of clothing and feeding himself right i hope that's clear next line he broke open boxes and wrappers and fitted himself out with warm clothes that's very clear he opened the boxes and unwrapped the clothes and he uh, he wear all those things he had warm clothes and good eatables soon with shoes and overcoat and a wide brimmed hat i i hope you can all see coat pant shirt shoes and hat that is swinging in the air after the people are running after him right he got all those things right he became a fully dressed and visible person of course uh, people could notice him running so he became a visible person like this in the kitchen of the restaurant he found cold meat and coffee i told you he got a lot many eatables so in the kitchen of the restaurant he found cold meat and coffee to give warmth to himself and fill his tummy right and he followed up the meal with sweets and wine taken from the grocery store finally he settled down to sleep on a pile of quilts everything was available that was all in an all in all store and he found all those things and finally he was so tired that he fell asleep on a pile of quilts right so that was all about his getting comfort see what happened next morning next paragraph if only griffin had managed to wake up in good time all might have been well it means the situation would have been good if griffin had uh, managed to wake up early in the morning but as he as i told you he was uh, too much tired see what happened as it was he did not wake up until the assistants were already arriving next morning it means the store was open and the workers were already there when he saw a couple of them approaching he panicked and began to run see griffin running in the picture and the assistants from the store running after him his hat is swinging in the air and he is running fast right he panicked he got afraid they naturally gave chase gave chase means follow to follow someone uh, to run after someone so they begin to chase griffin 
in the end he was able to escape so how he escaped that's also quite funny he was able to escape only by quickly taking off his newly found clothes it means he had to nude himself once again he had to throw the clothes one by one right so once more he found himself invisible but naked in chill january air it, it was january such a chilled atmosphere was there in london and he had to survive without clothes because with clothes everybody could see that somebody is there although his face hands foot etc were not visible even though people could notice that how can uh, clothes stand by themselves how can a hat stand by itself so people were chasing him uh, madly but he was running see what happened next in the next paragraph this time he decided to try the stock of a theatrical company in the hope of finding not only clothes but also something that would hide the empty space above his shoulders shivering with cold he hurried to drury lane the center of the theater world so drury lane that is there in london the, that is a center of the theater world he decided to enter that theatrical company why he decided to do so because you know his face etc so his shoulders this empty spaces would be covered with the theatrical clothes theatrical clothes are available uh, you know various types of outfits are there Uh, various outfits are used as theatrical clothes one could use uh, you know a variety of clothes to hide uh, the skin so that's what griffin wanted and he reached there next line he soon found a suitable shop you know griffin as he was invisible he could steal things from anywhere right it was very easy for him to steal things and that's what he did he made his way invisible upstairs and came out a little later wearing bandages around his forehead the you would see that in the next picture so he uh, had a bound he had uh, bandages worn around his forehead dark glasses black glasses a false nose that is available there in the theater uh, big bushy side whiskers in order to cover his cheeks and a large hat right so to escape without being seen it means he wanted that nobody should be able to recognize him so he wear all those things right he callously attacked the shopkeeper from behind means in a cruel manner he attacked the shopkeeper from behind after which he robbed him of all the money he could find it means he robbed the shopkeeper of whatever money he was possessing at that time so in such a manner you know see the answer to the question which was started in started on the first page that how griffin was a lawless person of course he never obeyed any law so he was a lawless person <laughs> right <laughs> next paragraph eager to get away from crowded london he took a train to the village of epping where he booked two rooms at the local inn right so eager to get away from crowded london because every he was every time he was afraid that somebody may find him so he took a train to the village named epping so that nobody should be able to recognize him at all he should be a stranger to everyone and he booked two rooms at the local inn right see what happens there the arrival of a stranger at an inn in winter was in any case an unusual event because uh, you know in that season in such cruel winter so only the people all in the locals used to uh, you know revolve here and there and at the inn uh, advent of coming of a stranger was a use uh, was an unusual event unusual means it was a surprising thing right a stranger of such an unco- uncommon appearance set all tongues wagging all tongues wagging means everybody was surprised at the arrival of a man who had such a strange appearance uncommon that is not common right so strange appearance and everybody's tongue was wagging you know so everybody was talking about that see what happens next mrs hall the landlord's wife so mrs hall is her name made every effort to be friendly but griffin had no desire to talk and told her 
my reason for coming to epping is a desire for solitude i do not wish to be disturbed in my work besides an accident has affected my face so he gave the excuse to the people uh, over there in epping that he has got injuries on his face that's why he has uh, worn so many bandages moreover he is looking for solitude it means loneliness right he is desiring to be in loneliness so that's why he doesn't want anybody to disturb him in his work right moreover he is disturbed by his accident so he doesn't want to get mixed up with the people the landlady mrs hall tried to be friendly with griffin but griffin didn't respond in a good manner right next paragraph satisfied that her guest was an eccentric scientist you know eccentric the one who is called mad the one who has lost his senses eccentric scientist insane right that in view of the fact that he had paid her in advance mrs hall was prepared to excuse his strange habits and irritable temper you know that's the matter with people if they are getting money they don't care what type of tenant they are having if they are getting money they don't care what type of person they are hiring right so because mrs hall was satisfied that she had been paid uh, the rent in advance right in view of the fact that he had paid her in advance so mrs hall was ready to excuse uh, the strange and uncommon habits of griffin and his irritable temper his bad and poor nature so she was ready to tolerate all those things that were uh, you know done by griffin why she was tolerating everything because she was paid in advance so that's why she was quite happy with that guest as well right but the stolen money did not last long you know uh, it is often said that uh, even if you get lakhs crores millions uh, billions uh, of dollars right so if you keep spending uh, keep spending it continuously without earning or without doing anything productive so it would come to an end some day it would finish some day so griffin didn't have much money the money which he stole from that shopkeeper by deceiving him and by giving him a blow so that money did not last long of course that mon- that money was about to end and presently griffin had to admit that he had no man no more ready cash it means griffin had to admit to the landlady mrs hall that he he was not left with any money at all he pretended pretended means made a false show he pretended however that he was expecting a check to arrive at any moment it means he just made a false promise that as soon as he gets a check he would pay the rent to mrs hall he just pretended it so that he should be allowed to live there for a few more days otherwise he knew it inwardly that he is a liar right so what happens next shortly afterwards a curious episode occurred right a curious episode means you know curiosity producing episode occurred see what happened very early in the morning a clergyman and his wife were awakened by noises in the study it means they were there in their study room clergyman and his wife and they got awakened by uh, uh, some noises creeping downstairs creeping means moving slowly creeping downstairs they heard the chink of money being taken from the clergyman's desk so what was heard by the people around that some money had been stolen from the clergyman's desk right without making any noise and with the poker grasped firmly in his hand the clergyman flung upon the door surrender the clergyman was you know expecting that somebody has just gone after stealing his money and without making any noise uh, holding a hat poker in his hand very firmly the clergyman opened the door abruptly and said surrender right then to his amazement he realized that the room appeared to be empty right so he realized clergyman realized that there is nobody in the room at all somebody has escaped just he and his wife looked under the desk behind the curtains and even up the chimney there wasn't a sign of anybody yet the desk had been opened and the housekeeping money was missing you know now 
द थीवरी हैड बिन डन एंड ऑफ कोर्स विदाउट एनी डाउट इट इज़ नोन टू द ऑडियंस ऑनली इट इज़ नोन टू द रीडर्स ऑनली दैट द मनी वॉज टोलन बाय नन एल्स बट ग्रिफ इन द साइंटिस्ट राइट देन टू हिज अमेजमेंट मीन्स टू द अमेजमेंट ऑफ क्लर्जी मैन ही रियलाइज नो बडी वॉज देयर इन द रूम ही एंड इज वाइफ द पीपल डिड एफर्ट्स टू सर्च फॉर द थीफ दे लुकड अंडर द डेस्क बिहाइंड द करटन्स दे इवन वेंट अप टू द चिमनी एंड बिगिन टू फाइंड दैट इफ देर इज एनी बडी राइट बट यू नो द डेस्क हैज बीन ओपन इट मीन समबडी हैड कम टू द रूम बट देर वॉज नो साइन ऑफ लाइफ एंड हाउस कीपिंग मनी वॉज स्टोलन right extraordinary effort the clergyman kept saying for the rest of the day it means clergyman was quite surprised so that was a matter of great surprise for the clergyman right he kept uh, saying it for the rest of the day it means he kept thinking that extraordinary affair it means an unbelievable situation it was how can money be stolen without the presence of a human being right but only the readers know the answer that the human being was there but it was not visible right next paragraph but it was not as extraordinary as the behavior of mrs hall's furniture a little later that morning you know what happened later that morning was more strange the landlord and his wife were up very early and was surprised to see the scientist door wide open they noticed that the door is open and they begin to think of unusual things and that were actually there usually it was shut and locked obviously griffin didn't interact with the people he didn't used to talk to anyone so at that day it was open and he was furious if anybody entered his room it means earlier he he used to shut his door and lock him himself inside the room and he became furious he became infuriated or angry if anybody entered his room right the opportunity seemed too good to be missed it means they wanted to look into the strange man's room right the landlord and his wife mrs hall they wanted to look into his room and they felt that this is the right kind of time this is the exact opportunity when they should enter they didn't want to miss that they peeped round the door peeped means look into right they looked into and saw nobody and decided to investigate they saw that nobody was there inside the room and they wanted to do investigation the bed clothes were cold showing that the scientist must have been up for the some time and strangers tell the clothes and bandages that he always wore were lying about the room it means everything he used to wear was lying here and there in the room the clothes the bandages everything it was there in the room but where was the scientist all of a sudden mrs hall heard a sniff close to her ear you know sometimes people uh you know touch uh, the ear of the other person in order to give a slight attack so mrs hall got a sniff she received a light sniff closer to her ear a moment later the hat on the bed post leapt up and dashed itself to her face next a hat was thrown on her face then the bedroom chair became alive of course a chair is a non living thing how can a chair become alive we know it very well griffin was was using these objects in order to hurt the landlords right so later on what happened springing into the air it charged straight at her legs foremost right so it attacked the living chair attacked the legs of the landlady mrs hall as she and her husband turned away in terror you know they were afraid that how things are moving in the air if some bad spirit has entered their house the extraordinary chair pushed them both out of the room and then appeared to slam and lock the door from a door after them you know it expelled both uh, these people out of the room so the chair had become extraordinary of course the chair was moving by itself the chair was attacking by itself so it had become a living thing for them and they were 
quite frightened at that. Mrs. Hall almost fell down the stairs in hysterics. Mrs. Hall began to cry and she hardly escaped, uh, you know, falling from the stairs. She was convinced that the room was haunted by spirits. See, as I told you children, she felt that some spirit has entered the room and that the stranger had somehow caused these to enter into her furniture and you know the griff griffin the scientist had you know caused that spirit to enter into the furniture of mrs hall's room my poor mother used to sit in that chair she moaned it means she began to cry loudly uh, produce loud voices saying that her mother used to sit in that chair to think it should rise up against me now it means she is shocked that the same chair that was used by her mother to sit in the same chair has attacked her so she was more disturbed emotionally on this fact right see what happens next the feeling among the neighbors was that the trouble was caused by witchcraft obviously you know neighbors often talk about certain things so but witchcraft or not when news of the burglary at the clergyman's home became known the strange scientist was strongly suspected of having had a hand in it everybody in the colony suspected that scientist griffin only for that thievery for that burglary right when the news arrived everybody begin to think that griffin is you know suspicious of that griffin would be responsible for that suspicion grew even stronger when he suddenly produced some ready cash though he had admitted not long before that he had no money you know children uh, just a few moments before griffin had uh, you know shared with uh, mrs hall the landlady that uh, he doesn't have any money to pay as rent and all of a sudden he produced some ready cash in hand so everybody was very much sure that griffin has stolen the money from clergyman's room right the village constable was secretly sent for secretly right without the knowledge without the notice of anybody else the village constable was called instead of waiting for the constable mrs all went to the scientist who had somehow mysteriously appeared from his empty bedroom how he mysteriously appeared obviously he had tied those bandages hat everything so that's why he had appeared all of a sudden right so what happened next i want to know what you have been doing to my chair upstairs she demanded it means mrs hall is asking griffin that what he has been doing with his with her chairs and furniture and i want to know how it is you came out of an empty room and how you entered a locked room so she is asking him several questions that how he all of a sudden appeared and how he disappeared like what is happening she was amazed at the situation right so see the people here griffin so children there is a clear cut mistake in the picture that the hands of griffin are shown hands were bare and hands were shown so that's a mistake artistic mistake right the scientist was always quick tempered you know short tempered now he became furious you don't understand who or what i am he shouted very well i'll show you it means now he has got angry uh, with the repeated questioning of mrs hall he has got angry and now he will make everybody understand and he would show them what he actually is suddenly he threw off bandages see as depicted in the picture he is uh, like unbinding those bandages that were bound round his face right so he would throw off bandages whiskers that were attached round his cheeks spectacles he was wearing and even the uh, nose false nose that he had stolen from the theater he shook off everything and threw it took him only a minute to do this within a minute he was able to throw all these things bandages whiskers spectacles nose right the horrified people in the bar found themselves staring at a headless man you know uh, his legs etc everything uh, was not visible but the clothes were there and everybody was amazed because he had uncovered his face so he was looking like a headless man and everybody got frightened right horrified mr jeffers the constable now arrived i hope you can see right uh, so the constable had arrived 
what happens next see the constable was quite surprised to find that he had to arrest a man without a head you know it was difficult for a constable to arrest that but jeffers was not easily prevented from doing his duty it means he was adamant if a magistrate's warrant ordered a person's arrest then that person had to be arrested with or without his head it means he was adamant in his duty he was quite dutiful and he thought that he would arrest this person with or without head that doesn't matter for him there followed a remarkable scene you know important scene as the policeman tried to get hold of a man who was becoming more and more invisible as he threw off one garment after another you know he repeated the same process here he began to take off his coat his shirt right spectacles shoes everything and he began to disappear slowly so see finally a shirt flew into the air and the constable found himself struggling with someone he could not see at uh, all right of course as you can see he is undressing himself first bandage first hat then bandage then coat he is holding his coat to uncover himself and become invisible and see the express face expressions of the constable police constable that everybody was wondering that what this man is doing and how this is possible at all so that become a quite hilarious situation and see in the next paragraph he says some people tried to help him it means some people tried to help police constable but found themselves hit by blows that seemed to come from nowhere because they couldn't see griffin but they were have they were getting blows griffin was beating them because he was invisible right in the end jeffers was knocked unconscious as he made a last attempt to hold on to the unseen scientist the police constable was knocked down unconscious right so he was brutally beaten by griffin and he fell on the floor there they, there were nervous excited cries of hold him but this was easier said than done you know nobody was able to hold him everybody was shouting hold him hold him but nobody was able to do so griffin had shaken himself free and no one knew where to lay hands on him means people kept on searching for him and he had left the place you know this was all about the story but in the end i would like to tell you something very very important so children as i told you h d wells never wrote a story by the title footprints without feet in fact he wrote a novel entitled the invisible man you know children in this particular novel the invisible man griffin the scientist made his body transparent and became invisible in the eyes of people so he did this experiment but the novel is actually based upon the thing that he made himself invisible he made his body transparent and he was unable to come back to life you know a step taken a negative step taken or a step taken without thinking further without giving it a second thought it proved disastrous for griffin griffin never thought that how would he be able to come back to life he consumed the drug and became invisible for the entire lifetime right he became invisible for his entire lifetime but he could never come back to his life so the moral of the novel was that if we are taking an important step if we are taking some remarkable step we must know the consequences of the same we must know we must get the knowledge gather the knowledge about the results of that particular experiment right so science is both a boon as well as a bane right so i hope you are very much clear with the story that's a quite easy uh, and interesting one i hope you must have liked it so children do the back exercise question so i'll be sharing the answer keys shortly have a good day thank you